Greetings guys and welcome to another episode about R programming. Today I'm going to teach you how to handle errors. So first of all, why would you do such a thing? Let's say that we have some problematic expression like division of string by integer and we would like to print some text to the screen afterwards. If we execute this code, this is what is going to happen. Uh, so R uh, throws an error and uh, this uh, piece of code after uh, it's not going to be executed. So how to avoid such a behavior? I'm going to show you try catch statement. And uh, this uh, function actually takes uh, four arguments. And those arguments uh, should be in the form of uh, scopes of expressions. So how actually to do that? First, give an expression of uh, that problematic piece of code. And let's say we are going to stay to that example, 17 divided by 8. And now after this uh, scope is uh, closed, type comma. And as a second argument, we are going to uh, provide the function for warnings. Let me show you. Well, in next episode, I'm going to teach you how to uh, make your own uh, function, but for now you are going to take this for granted. Uh, and uh, what is going to happen in here? And within uh, this uh, scope brackets, we are going to provide the expression of what is going to happen uh, if a warning occurs. Uh, and uh, keep in mind that uh, warnings and errors are not the same. Uh, errors are going to uh, crash your code, but warnings are just going to be printed to the screen in order to grab your attention. And now we are going to print this argument W. So what this argument W actually is, uh, it's a description and a textual representation of a warning, then comma. And now we are going to uh, provide a function for uh, uh, errors. Likewise, this E, it's actually textual representation uh, of error and we are going to print that to the screen. And uh, finally, we are going to do finally. Finally equals, but keep in mind, uh, you are uh, with finally going just to provide scope of expressions, not function. So now we are going to print something very clever. So what is going to happen? Uh, whatever happens up here, this piece of code, uh, finally it's going to happen. So whether error occurs or not, this piece of code is going to be executed. And after our uh, error uh, function is done, we are going to print our message to the screen. So if we execute this code now, you are going to see that it works perfectly. Uh, first, uh, we are going to execute our problematic code and that code is going to produce an error. When error occurs, uh, R jumps uh, to this uh, error section and executes code uh, that is within this scope. Uh, and then code finally is going to be executed anyway and after we are done this uh, print uh, function is going to be executed without any problems. So whenever you have some piece of code and you are uh, not sure whether that piece of code is going to produce error or not, try catch function it's uh, actually your savior. So uh, that would be all for uh, this episode. If you are satisfied with this content, please subscribe and see ya.